Hello and welcome to DTWG Prep. Welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, polynomials, multiplying and dividing polynomials. We're going to be looking at the FOIL method in multiplying two uh, binomials. Okay, that's expanding um, um, the brackets of two binomials. Okay, and uh, what else I'm going to touch? Yes, we're going to do this division multiplication. And please, if you haven't seen the video on adding, simplifying polynomials, please do watch that video. It's prerequisite to this. Okay. So um, before we continue, kindly please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check our website for summary notes, um, study guides, free practice, GD practice questions, your formula sheet, all in the our website, dtwgdprep.com. Okay. You can also join our Facebook group. We are over 22,000 members in the community. Um, you know, well, you can ask your questions on whichever state in the U.S. you're sitting, um, your G, you're sitting for your GD test from, be it in Arizona, New York, California, um, Georgia, any state, okay? You can ask and you would receive a lot of, you know, uh, support, motivation, and resources from the community all right if you also want one-on-one -on -one tutoring i do offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring please do um, contact me i will leave my email in the video description box of this video and leave all other links okay so now let's get on to the video so now let's start with multiplication so here it says simplify these expressions now we have two parentheses back to back like this, so it means we are to multiply this. So how do we multiply? We first take the numbers, three times five, okay, is 15. Then we take the variables, x, this x and this x, they are variables. When multiplying variables, you add their powers. Now, the power of x here is one, the power of x here is also one. So when we multiply x times x, it gives us what, x squared, where we add their powers. All right, now the second one here, we multiply the numbers first. It gives us 21, 7 times 3, 21. We can see X is here, X isn't here. So we can just drop one X here. We have Y here and Y here. So that's Y raised to the power 1, Y raised to the power 1. So Y times Y is what Y square. Here, first thing we do, multiply the numbers. 2 times 4, it gives us 8. Now, you can see A is here, A isn't here. So we drop a, a here. So B is here, B is here. So B times B, that will give us a B square. C times C, that will give us a C square. All together. You know, polynomials have variables in one term. This is a single term, all right? So this is a polynomial. So here we have this 17Y times Z. There's, this is like, there's an invisible one here. So that's 17 times one is still 17. And y is here, z is here, you know, they're different. So we drop them as y, z. Okay, so here this is uh, a, there's an invisible one here. So 1 times 5 is 5. A is here, b is here, c is here. They don't have, like, there's no b here, there's no c here, there's no a here. So everything would be 5, a, b, c. Okay, now look at this. We have first the numbers 3 times 2, that's 6. Now, there's an x here, there's an x here. x times this x here will be x squared. Now, there's a y here, there's a y here. So that will be y times y squared. This is 1. y is power 1. So we're adding the power. So it will be what? y cubed. And z times z here, that will be 1. 1 plus 4, that will be 5. That's z 5. Okay? So equal to, that will be 3 times 1, that's 3. A is here, A isn't here, so we just drop an A. We have B here and B here, so B times B, that will be B square, and it's just C square here, so we drop C square. Okay? Now, equal to, we have 7 times 2, that gives us 14. We have F here, F is also here, so that's F raised to the power, F square, times f raised to the power 1, so that will be f cube. g is here, g isn't here, so we just drop the g. h cube and h raised to the power 4. 
So we add the power. So that will be h raised to the power 7 when we multiply. Okay? Do you see that? Now, remember, we've done um, distributive property. So we are going to distribute this. So please, if you haven't watched the previous videos to this, do watch them. Okay? So we have 2z square. We multiply this. So that will be 2 times 3. That will give us 6. Z square times x, y, that will give us x, y, z square. We arrange them in alphabetical order. Now, 2z square, we multiply 4z. So, 2 times 4, positive 4, that will be a positive, what, 8. And z square times z will give us, what, a z cube. Do you see that? So, here, 2x times 3x, that will give us a 6x x square, x times x, x square, then 2x times a negative 5z, that'll give us a negative 10, 2 times 5, 10, and x times z, x, z, okay, 11 will be a negative ab times 3b, okay, that would be, you know, this is a negative, so don't just drop the negative, use the negative, remember distributive property. So negative a times 3b, this is like a 1 negative ab times 3b. So 1 times 3 is a negative 3. That's negative 1 times 3 is a negative 3. Then we have a, we have b here. So b times b, that will be b square. We'll drop the a, b square. So negative 1 ab times a positive 5c. Negative 1 times positive 5, that's a negative 5. Then we have a, b, and c here. No, there's no A, B here, so it will be A, B, C. Now, for the final one, we have this minus 2A times 6H. 2 times 6 minus 2 times 6 will give us a negative 12. Then F3 uh, raised to the power 3 times H will be F3H. Then we have a negative 2F3 times a negative 4FG squared. So that's a negative 2 times negative 4. That will be a positive 8. Then we have F3 here. We have 1F here. So we are going to add the power. So that will be F raised to the power 4. Then it will be GH square. Okay? So this is how you distribute a polynomial. All right? Now, we're still in multiplication. So that's why it comes to me explaining the FOIL method, which is first, okay, you do the first you do the outer, then you do the inner, and the inner mean inner and the outer. So here you do 2x times 5x, it gives you 5, 10x squared. You do 2x times negative 8, it gives you negative 16x. You do 3, positive 3 times 5x, it gives you positive 15x. And you do positive 3 times negative 8, it gives you negative 24. Let's do this example together. So here we have, then from here, you know, we simplify. These are like terms, so we combine them. A negative 16x, positive 15x. When you have a negative and positive number, you do what? You subtract. So you subtract 15 from 16, and it gives you this negative x, which is like a negative 1x. Okay, in maths, you don't put the 1 here. All right? So that's how this final answer came about. So now let us expand this. Let's multiply this. So we do x times x. It gives us x squared. We do x times negative 6. It gives us negative 6x. We do positive 5 times x. It gives us a positive 5x. And we do positive 5 times negative 6. It gives us a negative 30. Remember, a positive times a negative gives us negative. A negative times a negative gives us what? Positive. Okay? So, from here, we have to simplify further. So, since these two are like terms, it becomes what? X squared. A negative 6, positive 5, we subtract. And our sign will take the negative number because the bigger number is negative. So this will be a negative 1x, negative 30. So we should finally be a x square, uh, negative x, negative 30. Okay? So for number two, 
we have x plus y, x plus y. Do x times x gives us x squared, x times y gives us plus positive y x. Positive this times this gives us also positive x y, not y x. When you're multiplying your variables, which are the alphabets, you arrange them in alphabetical order. x comes before y. Then we do y times y, which gives us positive y squared. You can see this are like terms, so we can combine this. So this is like an invisible one here, invisible one. So we have positive one, positive one, which will give us, we're adding, that's one plus one, which will give you a two xy plus y squared. Okay? So let's say this sign is negative. Okay, so I have, I can multiply two negative signs and you see what happens. Okay, so we have z, z minus nine, and z minus 9. So z times z is z square. z times this negative 9 is a negative 9z. z times this is a negative 9z. And negative 9 times negative 9, we have a positive, what? We have a positive 81. Okay? z times d is d square. z times a negative 9, negative 9z. And negative 9 times z, a negative 9z. And a negative times a negative gives us what? A positive 81. Okay? Negative times negative is positive. So these are two like terms. All right? So we, have, we can combine them to be what? So we have z square, a negative 9, negative 9. When you have two negative numbers, what do you do? You add. So we have 18 z the sign will take the sign of the bigger number which is negative then plus 81 so this is our final answer now let us do question four question four so we have y z square times y z square that will give us a y square z four do you see that okay because the powers will add. There's one power here, one power it will add, add. So this times this, we give us, this is a negative, so that has to be a negative three x, y, z square. And this times this would be what? A positive x, y, z square. And this times this would be what? A negative three x. So we can combine these two since they are the same okay they are like terms so we have y square z4 this is a negative 3 and a positive 1 here okay so negative 3 positive 1 we are subtracting and the sign will take the sign of the bigger number so 3 minus 1 is 2 so the sign will take the sign of the bigger number so that's minus 2 x y z square minus 3 x this is our answer okay so you can see we simplify, we, we multiply, then simplify. A final question, we have uh, for multiplication, we have 3x times this. This gives us 9x squared. 3x times 5, positive 5, we have a positive 15x. 3 times 3x, that's a positive 9x. And 3 times 5, that gives us a positive 15. We can combine these two, they are like terms. So we have 9 x squared positive 15 positive 9 what would that give us a 24 so that's a positive 24 x plus 15 okay so that's how we do our four method in multiplying all right now for dividing polynomials very straightforward and easy look at this question now you treat this as you know dividing this this is 4x minus 2, all divided by 2. So 2 is a common denominator to so 4x and 6. So just make it this way. You do 4x over 2 minus 6 over 2. Because it's a common denominator. So you can make this a fraction, make this a fraction. This statement is also the same as this. So here it's easy for you to cancel out. So 2 here, you can 2 here would go 1. 2 in 4 would go 2 times. 2 here would go in 6, would go 3 times. And our final answer here would be what? 2, this would be 2 times x. That's 2x minus 3. So this is the answer.
okay the same logic we apply to this guy here so it, it gives us let me clean up all this so for this guy here we do 7x over 7 minus 14y over 4 over 7 so this would cancel you have x minus 14 7 and 14 will go 2 times, so that would be 2 then times y. So this is the final answer. Here, the same thing. Here, the same thing. Let me take this here. So we have 24x square equal over 12 minus 36x over 12. It's, 12 is the common denominator to every numerator here. Okay, so that will be 12 here, 1, 12 here, 2. 12 here, 1, 12 here, 3, 12 here will go one time. So you are left with 2 times x squared. That's 2x squared minus uh, 3 times x. That's 3x. Then this is 1 plus 1. Okay, this is x squared. All right, so this is the final answer. We can simplify further. All right, look at this. Okay, this we can do. Let me erase here. So this will be what? 15x squared over 5x minus 20x over 5x. So 5 here will go 1, 5 here will go 3 times. You can see there's an x here and there's x squared. So we can cancel out 1x from here. This has 2x. This is x. This x squared is x times x. And this is x. So we can cancel out 1x and it will be left with just 1x. So it should be 3 times this x, and that will be 3x minus 5 here, 1, 5 in 20, 40. This x will cancel this 1x here. 5 in 20 is 4, I mean. So we have left only 4. So our answer is 3x minus 4. Do you see that? So here, 18. We have 18x, okay, over 6x minus 24x over 6x. So 6 will go in 18 three times. This x will cancel out this x to be left just y. 6 will go in 24 four times. This x will cancel out this x. So here we're left with just 3y minus 4. As easy as that. Now, when it comes to something like this, let us look at this critically. I'm going to clean this up. So we have something like this, 3x minus 15 over x plus 5. You can see this is critical. It's not just one, uh, one term. There are two terms here. So what do you do? You have to look at your numerator and see how you can factor out to give you something like x plus 5. Now looking at the numerator, we can factor out 3 from these two terms here. By doing what? 3 would go in 3 here, 1. 3 would also go in, in 15 five times. So we can bring out the 3, all right? And what we are going to be left with is x. Uh, I'm sure this question is wrong. This should be a positive, okay? This should be a positive. So it will be x plus 5 over x plus 5, okay? Because here, all right, if you do 3x divided by 3, it will give you x and if you do 15 divided by 3 it will give you what 5 all right so 3 is like a factor of 3x plus 15 all right so um anyway i'm still going to do there's going to be a question gcf uh greatest common factor i think um i don't know if i've done it yet on my channel but check it that's 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 the logic that is used here greatest common factor in algebra okay so you factor out 3. So we have factored out 3, and you see that when we multiply this, we still get 3x plus 15. So from here now, we can easily then cancel out this 5x and this 5x here. And we are left with our answer as what? 3. Okay? So when you, uh, when you have so this kind of questions, you have to look for how you can make your numerator. You have to look for something that you can cancel out. 
okay and that's by factoring try to factor something out so it looks like this denominator and you cancel out all right now look at number seven here number seven is still the same logic you use okay divide everything by still the x plus three so because it's a common denominator to everything here so x plus three divided by x plus three minus four x plus three divided by x plus three so this will cancel this will cancel this will cancel this will cancel out and you're left with x minus four do you see that the same thing applies here we have z z plus four we divide by what z plus four minus six z plus plus four divide by z plus four this will cancel this will cancel this will cancel this will cancel we're left with what z minus six as our answer okay thank you for staying to the end of this video i appreciate it please do subscribe to this youtube channel and give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends family loved ones in your groups preparing for the ged test also check us our website dtwgdprep.com for summary notes study guides free practice questions math formula sheets and then you can also join our facebook group you know to know about the ged in your in your various u.s states or in any country and also uh, to receive motivation support and other ged resources all links will be in the video description box of this video and i'll leave my email address if you require one-on-one -on -one tutoring i'm here to tutor you okay and uh, finally don't forget that our lord jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth and he's the life he's the one who's going to give us that heaven on earth here we can experience it and he's also the one who will lead us to heaven at last after everything here on earth he's going to lead us to heaven at last all right so whichever burden you're carrying be it financial health wise marital whichever you know maybe you have a child that uh you know you have lost jesus can still recover him it all starts from you as a parent you know receiving jesus and praying to him and he can still re recover that child back to you by his grace and power so please come to Jesus today and pray. He will take every of your body and give you rest. Okay? He's waiting for you. He's always waiting for you. He's always waiting for you at the door of your heart. He's always there. Just call on him and surrender to him. Make him your Lord and personal Savior. And he will take over the rest. All right. Thank you. I wish you success in your GD test and also in life. You are destined to win. See you in our next video.